add three cc's. Well, let's just fire this up. Please don't blow up in the next 30 seconds. I'm out of blackberry spud. Come back later. I need it now. Sorry. I don't have any now. Where is it? Where's the blackberry? I'm making it. You're lying. It's a very delicate reaction. You're saving it all for the bobbies. <laughs> There, isn't it? Fuck, 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 fuck. No. She broke my brain. It's not possible. We sent them all away. They never came back. It's a, it's a rat, isn't it? I'm hallucinating, and it's a rat, and it's gonna bite me. You can't be a baby. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. Constable, whatever brings you here? Someone seems to have bashed your front door in, Mom. Terrible, isn't it? I forgot my key and I had to sort of bash my way in. I've had reports, Mom. All sorts of people come into your door. Amazing, isn't it? So many people get lost these days, and they keep asking me for directions. You're not selling illicit substances, are you? You mean aside from Blackberry Joy? To the constabulary? Oh. Are you Sally Boyle? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's stupid of me. I'm so sorry to have been a bother. I, I know a terribly good joiner. I'll send him round, fix that door up for you. No need, Constable. But you're very sweet. I'll just, uh... I'll be on my way, Mom. Cheery, bye. Hello, Miss Boyle. Just wondering if you were, uh, planning to, to, to drop by the, um, the, the, the old neighbourhood anytime soon. We all miss you. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just in the middle of, um, cooking. No... I'll get on the blower and let everyone know. Soon as it's ready. Promise. No, 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 no. No, they can't all be broken. No, this was enough milk for a month. Fuck, fuck it. Sally Boyle! I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a monk girl like yourself. Everything I've got is as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. I need some tin milk for something I'm brewing. Oh, well, uh, the, 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 the tree from over the bridge, well, all, all we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war, and they're practically collector's items. Pricey. Oh, I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? Not unless you're willing to go over to the garden district. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you? Some of the wastrels out there. there. There's rumors of cannibals, devil worshippers, Q jumpers. It's sweet that you're looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on eel pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. I'll see what I can find. One of these days, Gwen, I'm going to teach you all about chemical interactions. They're so much more reliable than boys. Hello. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the garden district, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, right? It's just a question of concentration. Oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? Oh, you can't be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programs out here. What did he say? 
How do you know? Why don't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming here? But the place is a mess. We have to clean up. Sally Boyle. I hope you find the Uncle Jack record. Me borrower's been pestering me. I have indeed. Your Brillo! Milk you shall have! Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed at the state of some of these things when they come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. Some sort of uh, water feeder for, for birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't overwater, but I keep forgetting to water at all. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, I, I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lads is uh, wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for them. Oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lads is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true though, Mum, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Cashier is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, um... Uh, Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the General now, can we, lads? Ha! Uh, uh, of course he would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance, willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. Okay. First things first, how bad is the damage to the lab? The triode and the crystallizer's broken. Oh. Why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh, God. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. Well, young Miss Boyle. You know there's a curfew. You don't want some Fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle? I've got a young lady out here who, um... I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? Let me go in. They're not at home. Let me take you to the station for a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. Cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train.
Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. Do you ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What... What happened to your... eyes? Oh, this little thing. The doctor used miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know, you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... Any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto Rat Home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back, and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you Brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Rat Home via the maintenance tunnels. There's a code at the door. It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well, now we know. Cheerio! Sally! Oh, you never come by anymore. Well, Fiona. Oh, Cerberus. I. She's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh, you're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, oh she barks, but she don't bite <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Let's see what Mikey has to say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? Well, General, why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. Then you ought to lock the door. Oh, the memories always come back. Oh, then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> let me make the bad memories go away. What on earth is that? Are you hallucinating? Rainbow has all sorts of crazy side effects. 
It couldn't be a cat. Hasn't been a cat since the war. You are going to love this one. Couldn't be a baby. Don't be silly. No one's had a baby in 15 years. Say, ah! Dance with me, Robert. Shame I won't remember any of this. You do come here to forget. General? Robert? Are you still here? I'm risking my job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. I suppose I didn't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. Lovely day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me, Sally. I knew it was you. I, I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around, all intense like that, I just knew that's Arthur. How the hell are you? Sally? You look quite stylish. This ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen and White checked. Your dress. That night you ran out the door and I never saw you again. <laughs> that horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be oh, ridiculous. Oh, you of little faith. I'd never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk, in the city. Uh, I've been living in the Garden the District. The Garden District? Off the scraps of our former civilization. Oh God. I could help you. I do... know General Bing. Oh, the General. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 We're years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because. Because he was so generous. Because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash V1? These days I spend a lot of time there, remembering. Look, it's a horrible, terrible world out there, and no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without Arthur. your help, and I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Well, there's your answer, darling. Arthur hasn't forgotten you. Shit. I bet I can just walk right on in. Sorry, I'm very busy. The family is in mourning. And will be, shortly. With any luck. I've come with the Colonel's prescription. Prescription? What does he need with medicine? He's, he's dying. No thanks. I know you're a clever chemist and all, but he's very old, and, and we've decided to, to let nature take its course. Oh, it's not a cure. You can't cure old age, can you? <laughs> this is really just to help ease the way. Help him sleep. Wouldn't mind if he slept a bit more. Always ringing that goddamn bell. All right, I'll give him the pills. I'm afraid it goes in the other end. <laughs> Uh, I suppose you'd like to administer it. I can do that. 
I understand that the family is sometimes uncomfortable. Great. Well, up you go. E in the will. Sadly. Honor? Regina? No. Is it? Is that you, Hope? I, I thought you were gone on holiday. They've been beastly to me, your sisters. I'm sorry, Papa. They are waiting for me to die. I'm surprised I haven't woken up with a pillow over my face. How horrible. You survived artillery and mustard gas, but your daughter's your enemy now. You're not Hope, are you? Who are you? Who? Anna! Regina! Help! This will only sting a little. You deserve better. We don't have a lot of heroes. Sally Boyle! What a lovely bunch of nonsuches. From your mum's garden. But she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush! You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? Where did you all go? I've got another little tinkering job for you, Lionel. I do so enjoy these little commissions. No one else challenges my imagination quite like you do. That's a rather odd bag. What would you need that for? Oh, that's for certain compounds that have to be kept at a very specific temperature and pressure. Aren't you clever? Hmm. Well, it might take a little while, but I think I can figure it out. Come on back in a little while. Tis time. Tis time. She comes. Hello? Nimue? Vivian Mogals? How do they do that? All hail, Sally Boyle, mistress of alchemy. All hail, Mistress Boyle, who knows the secret of maternity. All hail, Mistress Boyle, who seeks the other shore. I keep forgetting. You know my secret. This potion will help your daughter sleep. She won't get hungry as quickly. I don't know that I believe in magic. What else is left to believe in? The potion isn't magic. It's herbalism. Your mum knew herbs pretty well, didn't she? Yes. Especially what you can do with foxglove. In fact, ugh, I came here for some ingredients I need for some... Well, drugs. Have you tested magic and proved it wanting? Or have you simply assumed that what you don't understand can't be true? I suppose I... haven't tested it. Then do this, if you like. We place our sacrifices in a chest in the wilds. I'll put the place on your map. Put some bricks in the chest and say this prayer. Bricks? See what comes of it, and then return. But... about my ingredients? We'll help you with what you want. But first, learn what you need. You don't even know what that is. Before the learner attains wisdom, the teacher has the right to give several tasks. Several? That's how it works, yes. All right. When will I see you three again? When you know what is unknown. Anon! Anon! There we go. Five bricks. Now I just say this prayer. Goddess. Lighten my burden. Give me the strength to carry what I must, so I no longer need the strength of others. Goddess, I dedicate these bricks to you. Blessed be. All right. Huh? That's it? 
That's strange. I do feel stronger. Did you say the prayer? I sort of feel stronger, actually. I think I can actually carry a bit more. You can't prove it's magic, though. What if it's psychosomatic? So what if it is? You're still feeling stronger. I'd rather you talk me about herbs. I need them. For the drugs I have to make. Patience. You are close to the learning you seek. Our hinge has been occupied. The old stone circle. The wedding party stones. There's ancient power there. The sacred circle has been polluted. If you can clear it, then we'll teach you about the herbs you need. Well, that sounds sort of fun and righteous. Why not? Do you think it's sweet enough? Why don't you taste it? <laughs> Seriously, you won't die from just a smidge. It'll just make everything burn a little brighter, is all. Back at the house, we'll give everybody a huge cup of it. It doesn't hurt when we free our souls from their fleshy prisons, does it? I think your heart races for a bit, and then off we go to the ethereal plane. <laughs> Why don't we use Hemlock? Like how Socrates killed himself. Hemlock doesn't hurt at all. My god. They're brewing poison. Because we already made two big batches of ditch slacks. Can you imagine if we came back to the Reverend Father with a big bowl of hemlock now? He'd laugh at us. Might not even let us come along on the sacred journey. <laughs> I'll just keep stirring then. All our questions will be answered once we're no longer in the prison of our bodies. That's what he said, right? It's some sort of suicide cult. I'm not going to let them poison a whole bunch of people. The people there, they were wearing these sigils. Oh lord, the space god people. Ransom Mackenzie's congregation in Gardner House. They were making digital acts? In small amounts, it's a drug. More than that, it's a poison. You can make it from red foxglove seeds. We make all sorts of useful potions and things out of it. You could too. I think their reverend father is planning for the whole lot of them to kill themselves. I can think of a lot of reasons to kill yourself in the Garden District. But no one should have their death chosen for them. You know about my mum? I remember there was a terrible accident. Your mum put the wrong herbs in the family dinner. The whole family died except you. It was just before the train, so I always wondered. It wasn't an accident, was it? I think she didn't want my sisters to be scared all alone in Germany. So she killed them. And I guess she didn't want Dad to hate her. So she killed him too. And she couldn't live with herself. I don't know why she left me behind. Here. This is the recipe for... Digital Axe? And something more? Mix it into their poison, and it should change from poison to... Mm, let's call it an eye-opener. You'll need digital axe for that, among other things. Come back, and I'll have the rest of what you need. You're making a sort of herbal blackberry joy, aren't you? You know your chemistry. I was on Harry Hayworth's team when we invented joy. One day I hope the goddess will forgive me for that. We're going to start handing out the cups now. Don't worry, there's enough for everyone. More than enough. But don't sip it, or you might feel sick for a bit. A little might make you queasy. A full cup and you won't feel a thing. You'll just wake up in a little while, feeling no pain, feeling no gravity, looking down at the earth from the pickup vehicle, and then you'll get to meet everybody up there. Hansi. Really beautiful, aren't they? They're like... God's hands. I've never noticed all the colours. Is this heaven? Life's so short, you know? This place is bad. It's a bad place. Why did you want us to die? Why? It's because you wanted to die, isn't it? 
You just wanted company. Let's get out of here. We're leaving. You can kill yourself if you like. Wait, don't go. You'll miss the pickup vehicle. You'll all miss the pickup vehicle. You sick, dying bastard. What are you doing? These people are trying to get to a higher plane of existence. Are you mad? Or are you just a swindler who's convinced himself? I don't think I care. Prove it's not true. You can't. You might as well try to prove that God doesn't exist. I think Wellington Wells is a pretty good proof of that. Get out, meddler! Heathen! You stopped them. How do you know that? Magic? <laughs> we can see it in your face. They weren't very happy with me. You took away their sense of purpose. I couldn't let them do it. What your mother did. Do you worry you have that in you? All the time. To be a mother is to worry. You have worlds within you. Only some are deaf. Here, the recipes you need to replace the Blackberry Joy. You'll need red owl butterflies, Opsiphanus cassii. They're hard to find, but they're all over the train station. You can use our old butterfly net. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Ollie Starkey lives there. Who knows if he'll remember me. Well then. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. Lovely day for it, Miss Spoil. The lads have uh, grown quite concerned about the lack of blackberry in their diet. Then they're in luck. I've made quite a bit of it. And it's all for you, lads. Ho <laughs> ho Won't the lads be delighted? I hope you will accompany me to the station forthwith. Um, the lads have, um, prepared a little merriment to show our gratitude. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Oh, we'll make a P P Y to the F R double E, F R double E to the S A V E D, S A V E D from the bonds of S I N. Glory, glory, hallelujah, hip hooray, amen, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. For the sixpence on a drunk, save another drunken bum, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. For the sixpence on the drum, and you'll be saved. That was wonderful. Thank you. There, lads. That should hold you for a bit, right? And Miss Boyle will be sure to synthesize a blackberry on time next time. So we don't have all this awkwardness. After all, with all you lads are going through, who knows how long this batch will last? Not as long as the last one, I'll wager. How many times did I nearly get myself killed for this patch? Gwen, we have got to get out of this goddamn town. No, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a rat. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. That's exactly how Mummy feels. She's not allowed to show it to anyone. Not even you. Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff Mummy proves. Off. And a cute little runny nose. And a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. 
Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. Oh my God. Babies die of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Where the fuck am I gonna get cod liver oil? Cod liver oil? Yes, Dr. Verloc does have some. But he's pretty pissed off at Mummy right now. But I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Hello, it's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh, ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you brighten our day. Like, uh, like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. You are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. And... Um... Sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask... I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... A little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know. I thought about it. 
but I couldn't. Not after... After what your mum did? What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. I'm sorry. I, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll, I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm really, really... It just, I'll just came out. Go. Get you that bottle. Meet you back here sometime. I'll let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? Hello, boys. Keeping us safe? Next walk can't come soon enough, if you ask me, miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle? We weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, while the Steyer accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Miss Boyle! I oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! Suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of Rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a... baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but... They made everyone so unhappy. Can... can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but... No. I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I've a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. 
You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? <laughs> A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. They don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats, and you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently that makes me the General's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is uh, that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for late patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, um, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right. But don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? Hello, Miss Boyle. Usual. Oh, I'm afraid I'm looking for someone. He's not here. He's, he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money, too? No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy? Said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan? What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. Watch yourself out there. The old name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. They've taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Who's taken Eddie? The cultists. Up on the hill. The yam people. It's not yams they worship. They, it's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're gonna kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh, God. I just... My legs have got all watery. I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. They promised me sweets if I came along with them. But there weren't any, and they tied me up. You mustn't trust strangers, Eddie. I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah. Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look. You wait here. I'll send someone to get you home. You saved him. I wish I had. I love that lad. He's one of the best people I know. Yeah. He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain, I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a General's. Oh, that's a beauty. I love that boat. Clean lines. Beautiful woodwork. I was just reading about it. Could I... Could I borrow your book? Oh, sure. Here we go. Least I can do. After I didn't save Eddie, keep it. You'll need it more than I do. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I haven't been in a boat in 15 years. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a sovereign for a thirsty pirate, would you? Hi. You're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Lifesaver. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. 
You look... rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? Well, just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I didn't have anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Let's go together. We're two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? It's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. There's something I have to tell you. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> it's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? is perfectly horrid. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. Oh dear. Oh, shut it up. I hope she's not gone on holiday. Annie's pretty neat, isn't she? Oh, this again. It was months ago. I was only dancing. Well, she turned you someone's on. Someone's inside, obviously. Oh, I was she come turned on. me on. I know you're in there. James! But I was only dancing. Roger, it's Sally Boyle. Don't you. Oh, Sally! What are you doing here? Roger! Roger, it's Sally Boyle! Where's Dr. Faraday? Is she all right? I'm afraid she died. There was an explosion. For fuck's sake, James. It's Sally Boyle. She, she's not here. She, she died. James. She said she died in the explosion. Oh, fuck. She's right upstairs. Roger! Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. You're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. It disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Help me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. What brings you here? Who do you listen to? I'm sort of embarrassed to admit it, but the make-believes. The early stuff, before Nick sold out. The unicorn song. That's my favorite. I had a rather brilliant formula in my head the last time I had it on. See, I've been trying to make a sort of portal. No matter, I lost the idea when I lost the record. I know where our copy is. I think I could get it for you. Really? I know if I heard that song, I'd remember my idea. That's how my brain works. Could you make me a motor for a Bristol pilot? Boat motor? Well, that sneeze is more complicated than a boat motor. I thought you were here for something difficult. Ah, sure. You bring me the unicorn song and I'll make you a boat motor. Fuck in a bucket. Whoa, look, lads. It's our lucky day. We don't need to go through this again, do we? Don't you remember what happened last time? I have a very poor memory. Almost as bad as my impulse control. Fact remains, 
You have been selling unapproved pharmaceuticals in Bobby Catesby's domain. And you ain't paid for that privilege. All right. Let's dance. Do you have my record? I have indeed. This is fantastic. I'm finally going to be able to make my portal. Uh, never mind about that. And my motor? Have you made that? And you have earned your boat motor. I won't ask you whose boat or where you're sailing it. I have an entirely different plan. Does it involve portals? Clever lass. No. Uh, no. No. When I told you to come to my safe house, I meant knock on the door, not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen's safe. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Verloc's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? Come, look. It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Food for a year. Vitamins, first aid. How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. You can't go. The doctors are scouring the streets. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not going to do that. I think you will. Baby's going to get hungry if you're not there to feed her. You bastard! You horrible, vicious coward! Sally, Traitor. do you love her or do you just love having someone who needs you? Let us stay with us. Here. Please. This is no place for a child. She's just a small thing. I'll make you happy. I promise. You'll come first. I can make you so happy. You're just like when we first met. leaving this facility without me. I have the only key card. You bloody witch! <laughs> You'll come to your senses. I've done terrible things, Sally. I had to do them, but the mob despised me for it. I think I deserve a little consolation in my old age. I'm not your consolation prize. Have you got my chemical back? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I have. There you go. Careful with your uh, chemicals. What? That you're carrying. In the back? Yes, of course. I'll be super careful. Lovely day for it! Lovely day for it. The neighbours think you've got a downer in your house. <laughs> Not me. If I were any happier, I couldn't walk in these heels. <laughs> That's a joke. They heard someone crying. Love to chat, but I'm expecting Sir Robert any moment. Then you shouldn't have provoked Dr. V like that. After he tried so hard to put you out of his mind. Look, you tell Anton that the general is going to be really fucking pissed off. I don't think he much cares anymore what mood Sir Robert is in. Personally, I'd like to see your customer list. 
Odd. Something I've not smelled since... That's a baby! Yes! Isn't she adorable? Fuckity fucking a buckety bucket! It's gonna be dark in here, darling, but when you come out, you'll be as safe as you can be. You're going to be as quiet as a mouse, aren't you? Because you don't want Mummy and you to be torn to tiny little pieces. Just go to sleep for a little while, all right? Now all we have to do is travel safely across the entire city, and not upset any doctors, or any townsfolk carrying torches, or pitchforks, or plague victims. Oh, the stories you'll have when you grow up. Shh. It's almost over. They won't anymore, will they? Make as much noise as you like. Maybe I'm not such a rubbish mum after all. You'll never know how alone someone can be. You have me. I'll have you. I guess I'm happy, would you? We're gonna have such adventures. We'll be the two musketeers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>